Joseph's is a really wonderful 1948 cover illustration for the Saturday Evening Post. And um, it covers a subject that Rockwell was kind of interested in through his career, but he couldn't quite figure out how to tell the story. He grew up in New York City, but he also lived in a series of smaller towns and cities. And gossip was something that always pervaded society. And I think for him, uh, living at the time in Arlington, Vermont, he felt that it might be an appropriate subject to take up. He actually used his neighbors and friends as models to tell his story. If you notice the way that he set the story up, it's like a game of telephone. There's some story that is started by the woman in the upper left-hand corner, and it travels through quite a few neighbors and friends that include Norman Rockwell's wife, Mary, who is actually seen on the third line of the painting, uh, the second and third subject there, and Rockwell himself, who is actually the brunt of the gossip. And he's way down at the bottom on the lower right, ultimately confronting the woman who started all the trouble. Compositionally, Rockwell actually uses the color green to pull us through the composition. You'll notice that it's in wonderful touches in people's clothing, on their hats, uh, and it really brings us right down the line from the top left corner to the bottom right, where the story actually ends. In addition, even though we really don't see any backdrop for his characters, each of them has a very beautiful cast of light on their faces. It really gives you a sense that they are in an environment, even though they're not really portrayed that way. One of the things I think that is so enjoyable about this piece is that um, it really shows uh, this wonderful expression of human nature and human curiosity in a way that is just a little bit exaggerated. It's a little bit like theater where the actions and the expressions have to be uh, a little bit more pronounced so that people can see and understand them. And Rockwell really felt that in a lot of ways he was personally a caricaturist. Uh, he loved caricature and he said that he sometimes had to pull himself back to a place of uh, reality because he so enjoyed uh, the aspect of people's personalities that was a little bit exaggerated. We're very fortunate at the Norman Rockwell Museum to have the original charcoal study for the gossips in our permanent collection. The way that Rockwell created his charcoal drawings was an interesting one. He began by using his photographs and visual references to compose in large scale, the same size as his finished painting was planned to be. Once he had a basic layout of outlines, he would begin to go in and really fill out the sense of volume, the light and dark, the specific details of his drawing, which would then be transferred over into his painting. But if he didn't like an area of his drawing, as was very typical, he would actually simply cut away that portion of the paper and glue a patch on top and begin to redraw. Of course, no one really was meant to see his drawings, but he must have thought they were important because he kept them. And through the years, after using rubber cement and in some cases tape to keep his uh, drawings together, they began to come apart. And in fact, when we received many of them in the collection, they were actually rolled up and in pieces. So we've been very fortunate to work with the Williamstown Art Conservation Center to uh, have them conserved one by one. And Gossips uh, is really one of the most popular of Rockwell's paintings, and we are very excited about the opportunity to have that restored.